Okay, now that we have our ESCs uh, all soldered on and our plug for our antenna, or sorry, for our receiver, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, solder on the wires that will be used for the power distribution board. Um, so we're gonna solder those on to uh, the ground GND and the BEC uh, 5 volt, which if we look on this side is right here, ground and 5 volt uh, BEC. So on this side, so this is the ground where the black wire is gonna go in, and then right next to it, uh, the 5 volt uh, BEC. Um, and the wires that I'm gonna use for that, I'm just gonna take, uh, I know the camera is gonna have some extra wire, uh, that we're not going to use. Uh, it's really long, so we're just going to cut off uh, some wire from from the camera. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull this out. So yeah, you see, really, really long wire here that we don't need. Um, we we are going to want this plug though. This plug is going to uh, plug in our camera. So we're gonna go ahead and get the extra wire from over here. Uh, and this, this is going to go uh, from those ports that I pointed out um, up to the power uh, distribution board. Um, so here's the power distribution board. And we're gonna position this uh, when we put it together uh, up here on top of the flight controller. Uh, and so here's our ground and our 5 volt. So we don't need very much wire to go to go just from up there to up here uh, but we do want enough so that it's not too difficult to to take this off and on. Um, so let's see I'm thinking maybe one board length Yeah, one board length uh, should be plenty. So let's go ahead. Uh, first, I'm gonna snip this off. I'm gonna leave just a little bit extra on this side of the plug, uh, just in case sometime I wanna use this plug, I have enough wire to work with to solder on. Uh, and then here we go, I have the extra wire here. Uh, so just to be safe, actually, I'm going to go a little bit more than one board length. Maybe like one and a quarter. Um, and I'm just going to snip these, uh, I'm just going to snip the black and white wires. There we go. And so I want to save, save this end. Uh, put that back with my camera so I don't lose it for when we need it later. And here I have my black and, and white wire, or sorry, black and red wire. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and strip, st strip this side. There we go. And strip the, strip the black wire. There we go. And let's go ahead and do the black wire first. So we're gonna go ahead and just dip, get a little bit of flux on there. Let's take up the board. And I'm gonna go from the top to the bottom on this one since the wires are generally gonna go up. And so this ground, G and D, right through there, okay. And we're gonna just touch the wire and then add the solder. There we go. Take a look at that. Yeah, plenty of solder. Solder went through, so that's nice and good. Uh, so now this red water wire we had 
Let's go ahead and dip this. Get some flux on it. And so here is the ground, and right next to it was going to be the 5 volts. Okay, flip that over. And same thing. Heat up the wire and the flight controller, and then add the solder. So now that we have it uh, all soldered, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and mount it to the frame. Um, so to do that I'm going to use these standoffs. And I'm not going to use the shortest one. I could use these shortest ones, um, but for that I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to bring it a little bit off the board. That way we can get a battery strap under there. So I'm going to go ahead and take four of these, these little ones. Uh, so second to smallest uh, to mount it and then the screws that came with the frame um, yeah so we have this big bag of screws and I'm gonna from that bag of screws I'm going to use uh, this longer one here uh, so the longest one, but not the ones with the, kind of the thicker heads. Um, so ones with a little bit smaller heads, uh, but, but that are really long. Uh, and that's one so it can get all the way through this thick frame. Um, but also, like, really the plastic doesn't need all that much to hang on. Uh, but I've actually found having more... Uh, actual strong screw in there uh, makes makes the whole the whole standoff uh, stack uh, stronger uh, which has led to a lot uh, less of the these breaking these plastic little standoffs um, so let's go ahead and so we'll go ahead and move this out of the way All right, I guess first we need to see which holes so it is those four the four inner Inner holes. Yep. Okay, we're gonna do one at a time, rather than all four at once. Okay, so we have one, and we can go ahead and hand twist that on. Uh, stick a finger here, twist, 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 and we can get that tight enough, uh, just with our hand. But if you want, and I and I like, I don't like it to be too tight. Uh, but if you do need a tool to tighten it down. Uh, if we open up our motor, uh, let's see, one of our four motors, it actually comes with a little tool that we can use to, to tighten that down. It's the right size. Uh, the old motors had a bigger one. Uh, this one is the smaller one, which, which actually is uh, more common for putting these frames together. Uh, so that's nice. So let's see, I was, but, it didn't look like we needed to use that to get that tight enough. So I'm going to go ahead and just hand tighten and not even that tight um, just so they don't move around anymore. So I know this is black on black, and a little bit hard to see, but one, two, three, four standoffs. One thing I did wrong uh, the first time I put this together was I forgot about uh, these little pads that came with the flight controller, uh, which are actually really important to have uh, there to damper 
uh, the impact uh, just to give it a really smooth, smooth feel uh, on the flight controller. Uh, and we should have these on either side of the flight controller. Um, so this isn't the flight controller that we used. Um, and this isn't the power distribution board that we used, but I'll go ahead and show you uh, how I how use those just to show you how I put this stack together. Uh, so originally I didn't have this this little pad, and I just stuck one of these small standoffs through here, stuck the other standoff on this side, stuck the power distribution board on top of this standoff, and then added a little net up here. Um, in order to increase kind of the padding on the flight controller, and again this is especially more important for these newer F4 boards, uh, like the Revolt that we're using, is I'm going to go ahead and put uh, this dampener on that standoff and stick it into the flight controller and then put a standoff on top of here and we can go ahead and tighten this down a decent amount um, but we want that kind of padding to take effect and we could try to slip this other one in here if you have longer standoffs um, but I'm just going to slip this pad up on top here and the power distribution board will go on top um, and to take it to take advantage of this padding, um, when I put this on, this screw here, I'm going to go ahead and not uh, not cinch it down too too much, um, just enough to keep it kind of from popping off that that standoff. Uh, so even if this wiggles around and has some vibration, um, it's not going to affect our flight controller. And now we can go ahead and hopefully this board will just slip on there. Try not to squish any of the wires. And there we go. Okay, and now since we really don't need very much clearance uh, between, because, let's see, yeah, this uh, USB port is the only thing that's really sticking up. Uh, we probably can use now these the smallest standoffs here, um, or we could use these ones. It, it doesn't matter too too much, but since I have these really small ones, I'm going to go ahead and, and use these small ones uh, for what's going to go on the power distribution board. And again, same thing. Somewhat tight, but not too tight. These ones are actually less important to be yeah, it can probably be even looser, um, but just hand tight because we don't need to worry about the screw dropping dropping out of these ones. The power distribution board will be kind of even pulled down anyway with wires. So no need for these to be overly tight. Actually, now that I think about it, it's almost better to have a, be a little bit loose uh, so they release a little bit uh, so it's so it's not as much stress on on those plastic the plastic uh, male parts on the ones that are below it because that's what I found ends up breaking off um, but having again as I mentioned those metal screws all the way through uh, really helps make it pretty sturdy okay and now we're gonna we can slip uh, this power distribution board on here but before that um, since, since this part isn't going to fit, well, actually, let me pull out the standoffs. 
and see if this is going to fit between the two. Yeah, so it's just barely not going to fit between these two standoffs there. So we're going to go ahead and actually attempt to just break this part of the power distribution board off. Um, so let's pull out the clippers. Put a lot of force. That looked like it stimped fairly nicely and go to the other side. And pop right off there. And so there's going to be a live positive and negative here. Um, so maybe we'll put some hot glue on that later just so there's no chance of that bumping up and causing a short on anything. But really it shouldn't because we're going to be expo like leaving these pads exposed. Uh, we could even solder something directly to those but it would be hard to get a good, good strong connection. Regardless I'm happy about how clean that part came off. Uh, so we can go ahead and, and mount this here. And yeah, even with those short standoffs, uh, it looks like we still have plenty of, of clearance. Uh, uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and put these little nuts. And as I mentioned before, since the Since the wires from the ESCs are actually going to be kind of pulling this board down a little bit, you probably only need two of these little nuts. But I'm going to go ahead and put on all four. And again, I'm not going to put them on. I'm going to put it on enough so it doesn't wiggle, but I'm not going to like cinch these, these down. And I, there we go. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should have waited to put on these nuts until we finished soldering. We'll s they shouldn't get in the way. But, never really know. And now with this tool, I'm just going to double check uh, that none of these screws on the bottom loosened up too much. And again with this tool we got to be really careful not to cinch them down too too much. Just just so they're not wiggling around because we're doing metal screws into plastic so or nylon I guess. So there we have it.